YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys, YT Dan back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And today this is gonna be a different video unlike my other videos. I'm gonna be bringing you more vlog style videos where I talk more about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and just a day in the life of a duelist. So I hope you guys understand that and enjoy this type of content moving forward. So just starting off here, I wanna to talk to you guys about what's been going on in my life to give you a little bit of background into why I stopped playing Duel Links for about two months. But I also want to let you guys know that you know content is going to be regular on this channel going forward um you can expect to see a brand new video every day around 12 o'clock um noon time and if you don't see it 12 noon time it's probably was uploaded earlier than that and also i'll be live streaming every day at 6 p.m eastern standard time and if for some reason i can't meet that time i will also upload um something within my story or something to my channel to let you guys know where new content will be in terms of live streams. So in order for you to catch that content, I'm gonna need you guys to hit the like and subscribe button for it. It's the only way for you to catch new content as it is released. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified about all new content as it comes and you can get the coveted first in the comment section. So let's just talk about this for a little while. I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links for about two months because I had a baby on the way. Now, the funny thing about that was, I was actually playing on the baby being born next month, um, but the baby actually came five weeks early, which is great, the baby's happy and healthy. But because of that, you know, I had already been kind of slowly not playing Duel Links as much, which means I wasn't uploading content to this channel. And then also, um, when the baby actually came, I just was fully out. Now, however, I did manage to play it a little bit to hit KOG um, as I was going through um, the, I guess that my lull time, but by not playing for two months, I missed out on many events. I missed out on a box, on a new main box, which I completely skipped over, containing predator plants and uh, the uh, witchcraft cards, which I have been really prominent recently. And uh, also, just a bunch of other little good stuff that was in there so what i found you know coming back after these two months most of my decks were dead and the funny thing that i think think of when i when i think about that whole concept is many people in my chat always ask me what can i play is this deck still good you know what's going on in the meta right now i haven't played Duel Links in a while and now i fully understand about leaving Duel Links for a little while and coming back to dead decks um, pretty much right now, this meta has completely changed. You already had the looming threat of invocation and summoning cards like Cockatus that can't be targeted or destroyed. But now we have the presence of many other cards that has that same effect of not being able to destroy, be destroyed or having some other effect of uh, banishment instead of destruction or non-targeting destruction. There's just a lot of things that kind of gets away gets around many of the rogue styles that I have been playing over the over these last few seasons. So what I found most disgusting about this is of course, you know, decks like Hazy Flame are completely dead in the water. You know, other decks that, you know, that I personally like to play have all been dead. You know, I found a lot of salvation, honestly, in terms of my rogue style and the type of gameplay I like to have with playing the Triple D archetype. I find that that archetype works really well for my style of dueling and how I like to play and the beatdown skill I love using. I feel like there's so much pride and power in using that skill, which is why I don't give it up. But I do recognize that there are tons of other skills and tons of other decks that can work. But coming back to the meta, ironically, there's a lot of decks that you know have not left the meta, which I find surprising. And also on that same level, I'm not surprised. Shiranui and Dark Magician, to name just a couple. Honestly, Shiranui and Dark Magician are so uh, prominent in the meta right now. You know, as you look at something like Decay's tier list um, on Duel Links meta or whatnot, you can see that uh, there are a variety of decks that are quote unquote tier decks, but most people on ranked PVP are either playing Dark Magician, Shiranui, and you might see a Blackwing from time to time. And then every now and again, here comes that Cyber Dragon deck. And honestly, 
um, I'm sick of seeing all these decks except for Blackwing because even when I wasn't playing for two months on ranked PvP, those decks were still very prominent in ranked. Um, but now you have the added threat of Witchcraft and random Predator Plant um, Mad Men decks combined with Neos. So, you know, the one big thing I do want to talk about is the Predator Plant archetype and the big letdown of the Fire King Onslaught um, structure deck. The Fire King Onslaught structure deck was absolute garbage. You know, as a player coming back to the game, that was the first new purchasable product that I was going to get. Um, I decided that I was just going to skip the whole main box altogether because a new box will be coming up soon after, and I figured why waste the money. Um, and then also, um, the new Fire King Stretcher deck was just a complete and total letdown because of cards like Cockatiss, because of the new Predator Plant archetype, which can let you fuse with your opponent's cards and then also um, has uh, banishing effects as well and a monster that can get really big in terms of attack it's just absolutely insane so the moral of the story is and honestly my my biggest takeaway thoughts here is if you step away from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links you have to be prepared to lose coming back in and then it's up to you to try to innovate and find something new that really suits your style if you can do that Give me your mans. Give me the Alistair. Give me the big beef. Here he is. I'll use my monster cardo effect. Oh, come <laughs> Ah! I thought it asked me. I thought it asked me to select. I was dead anyway. I'm gonna get back. I thought I was gonna. <laughs> I thought it asked me to select. Oh, the click, click, click. Now I'm the yes clicker. What was good, my boy? I'm just here getting wrecked. I understand. I've only got one chance, and I'll have to use it wisely. First, I'll activate my skier. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I'll destroy your card, boy. Uh, no, I'm running out of time limit. <laughs> Time limit, no! Time limit, <laughs> I'm about to die. I'm gonna get you, dog. You got it. No, oh. the winds. That's fine. No, don't, don't time limit me. <laughs> no. No! Damn it! But I want to know about you. Did you take a chance and stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links for a period of time and then you came back? And if you did, what was the results of that? But, I, but that's it for me, my boys. I really appreciate you guys dropping in for this video today. And I would love for you guys to hit the like button and subscribe. I have a goal right now and I'm trying to hit it. I want to have a 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. There's six months left in this year and I think that we can definitely hit it, my boys. So help me reach that goal by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell. And as always, my boys, keep it dang. We'll be running with the lions, lions